Hey Butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Mona Cole. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. First and foremost, I don't want to hear nothing from nobody saying nothing about my hair right now, okay? I'm in the process of doing my um, retightening of my locks, so I'm about... 50% done now. I'm finally at three fifty percent. So going between so getting my hair done. I only retighten my hair three times a year, y'all. So <laughs> this the second time. Okay, December is the let the third. Okay, but <laughs> anyway, so um, that's first and foremost. That's why my hair is like this. This are these are the locks that I haven't retightened, and then the locks that are down are the ones that I have finished. So. Um, this is the message though. So, and that's how y'all know this message had to get out for me to come out here. Okay. Embarrassing myself like this. You hear me? I want to thank everyone, um, for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes on the channel. It is always appreciated y'all. The comments that you all have been sharing, um, the emails, just thank you. I really appreciate, um, your support here on the channel. It's been a good vibe with this change of season. So, I thank you all for being here in this space. Wait, did I do my heart right? Okay, I did. <laughs> so this message, y'all, this is the ancestor message. And this message of what I was feeling, it was, um, so, okay, before getting to the message, right? Ooh, patience. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. So anyway, so before getting to the message, so I was, um, I started my morning working on candles. And so I was thinking about um, ancestral energy. I have some ancestor candles that I'm working on. And so I like to channel my energy and vibes when I'm making the orders because I believe in energy. So if I'm, uh, I'm not working on no orders and stuff because I don't want that energy to transfer, right? And so in this conversation with myself, I was thinking about like, um, you know, sitting here, eh, 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 all the homies passed away. Uh, okay. And then thinking about the sense of libations, um, people going to the graveyards, the cemeteries, and they pour libations, their drinks and stuff, right? And knowing how this is a historical tradition that's done within different um, African tra traditions, basically. And it's called libations as a way to pay respect to your crossover loved ones and your ancestors. And ancestors, you know, aren't always your family members. They can be your friends that you were cool with. They could be someone who you have some form of a connection to. It just means that they crossed over to the spiritual realm before you did, okay? They went before you. That's what an ancestor is, okay? And so I was thinking of that, right? I was like, dang, like how we have these traditions, you know, and a lot of people probably didn't even know the aspect of libations and what that meant. You know what I'm saying? Typically, you know, pouring water. And so I'll pour libations into the plants and things of that nature, right? And so I then started thinking about, um, I started hearing Tupac, me against the world. And then I heard the ancestors say, it's us against the world. So saying you and your ancestors against the world. A lot of you all feel like you don't have people around you who you can trust. You feel like you don't have a support group. You feel like, oh, I didn't realize my necklace is all on the inside. You feel like you don't have like the type of intimate connection sometimes too that you would like in order to get from one place to the other. And your ancestors want you to know you have you have their energy with you. You know what I'm saying? Like they have prepared a way for you. They went before you to prepare this space for you. So although you may even have some ancestors that you wasn't cool with, honey, you have some ancestors that do have your highest good, okay? And someone had made a comment on one of the videos and I believe I pinned it, but they had brought up and, you know, reminded the fact of we do, y'all. We want to pray that the highest good comes into our space, right? We want to pray. I know I've said this before that the ancestors with your best interest, okay, with their energy, they got the best interest for you to come through because just because someone is an ancestor doesn't mean that their energy um, is beneficial for you, right? And so this gives me this vibe of you calling out for your ancestor energy who do mean what's good for you and building your team. It's like, you may feel like it's you against the world, but you have the energy of your ancestors be before you. You learn from their experiences. 
okay? There's a lot of people walking by. It's like, I feel like I keep seeing somebody walk by and I look over and I don't see nobody. And I feel like this is just confirming this message in some kind of way. Uh, because it was like, a, it looked like they were wearing white. And so, you know, we associate white with being ghost. And so this is just giving this energy of communication, y'all. This is giving this energy of keeping your ancestors invited. But then also when you're calling for the guidance of your ancestors, make sure you are asking for the ancestors who have your highest good. Okay. Because we have some ancestors that went before us and like, they had some limits and beliefs. Their energy, like not all ancestral energy learns what they were supposed to learn here on earth, right? And so this is giving this vibe of you have an ancestor whose energy has like learned and transformed on the other side, but you got to communicate with more. You need to communicate with ancestors that you haven't met before, okay? Because when I say it's you against the world, it's like, I'm thinking of the sense of redemption for the things that your ancestors had to deal with and go through. You're meant to be a part of like that lineage of, oh my gosh, fulfilling that. Ooh, I feel like this is just confirmation for someone who's listening to this and they've been feeling like this. That's who this, <laughs> because this is interesting. Okay. Yeah, we got the nine of knives. And this gives me the vibe of when I see the nine of knives, sometimes you don't focus on the things that you need to focus on. And you look at how much you are buried under, how many worries you have, how many responsibilities you have, what you haven't been able to get done, what you haven't been able to do. And this is giving a vibe of looking at things from another perspective, digging your head from out of the couch and seeing you have other eyes and energies that are there and willing and able to help you. You just got to dig into their energy, dig into them, dig into their lifetime, learn about them, ask about it, document your dreams. Cause know that when you pray and ask for some stuff in your dreams or something to be revealed to you, it's going to be revealed to you. But for sometimes it's going to be in a form of a metaphor of allegories. It's not going to always be directly like yes and i'm your ancestor from the 2000 like it's not always gonna be like that now sometimes it is now but sometimes it's in the form of what you feel you know what i'm saying and the mind and the intuition <sighs> these threes because nine is a product with three three times three and then communication is three and a three. And I was just saying that I wanted to record a 313 message. Um, and three is a number of communication. It's a number of thought process. It's a number of magic. It's a number of what you speak, what you verbalize. It just sounds like the energy of how you communicate with your ancestors. And knowing that, yeah, it's you against the world, but you do have the energy of your ancestors behind you, even if you feel like you don't have an earthly person here, okay? I'm also getting the energy of ancestral energy coming through reincarnated by a baby in the family. I don't know, I'm hearing that quote in that song, my best friend's gone, and I'm so... All alone, I really miss my. And then, um, oh my gosh, that's a that's a um a sample. It's an original song for that. I really miss my. Is that Brandy? Brandy, even though you're gone away. Oh no, hold on, I gotta I gotta look this up. Yes, it's Brandy. Okay. I haven't heard this song in forever. It just hit me and reminded me that it was a sample with that song. Um, are you coming home to stay? When are you coming back home? So some of you all have been missing a few people quite a lot. And it's given this vibe of versus missing them in the physical. Learn to start communicating with them more in the spiritual. 
learning to start communicating with them more on the aspect of being crossed over and just as an energy and knowing that they're with you in everything they, they that you do. You're going to be reminded. But I'm also just getting a vibe of a shisty freaking ancestor, though. I, I can't get over that part. That ain't really on the same page as you, okay? I'm going to pull some cards on the signs. Because we got to understand the aspect of being able to command ancestor energy, okay? Because at the end of the day, we are the source energy, okay? The ancestor energy is just a help. It's a bonus. You get what I'm saying? And learning how to command that energy, like you're no longer that little bitty kid who ain't got a voice. You feel me? We got Virgo coming out. Opposition of Virgo is Pisces, Gemini, Leo, Virgo again, Taurus. I think that was three. I mean, six. One, two, three, four, five. And then Scorpio. Those are the signs that came out heavily um, with this energy. But is you against the world? We got to keep coming back to that. Is you against the world? But you're not alone. You're not alone. There's something in that song. One, two, three, four on the time. One, two, three, four on the time. There's something in that song from Tupac's Me Against the World that I'm supposed to read. Hold on. I really feel it. Definitely then seeing the um, one, two, three, four. Definitely is something I'm supposed to say. All right, let me see. Playing from Monica's iPhone 3. Okay, so this is the first part. I'm losing my homies in a hurry. They're relocating to the cemetery. Got me worried, stressing. My vision's blurry. The question is, will I live? No one in the world loves me. I'm headed for danger. Don't trust strangers. Don't want to make excuses because this is how it is. What's the use? Unless we're shooting, no one notices the youth. The question I wonder is after death, after my last breath, when will I finally get to rest through this oppression? They punish the people that's asking questions and those that possess steal from the ones without possessions. The message I stress to make it stop, study your lessons. Don't settle for less. Even the genius asks his, qu asks his questions. Be grateful for blessings. Don't ever change, keep your essence. The power is in the people and the politics we address. Always do your best. Don't let this pressure make you panic. And when you get stranded and things don't go the way you planned it, dreaming of riches in a position of making a difference. Politicians are hypocrites. They don't want to listen. If I'm insane, it's the fame made a brother change. If wasn't nothing like the game, it's just me against the world. That's what it was. Okay, so I'm getting multiple pieces from this. So the first part I'm getting is through the ancestral energy um, with the part where it says, when I, will I finally get a chance to rest through this oppression? And that's why I'm saying you have ancestors like that you have never met that really want to redeem some energy, right? But you have to invite them into your space. You have ancestors that you do not know that you need to invite into your space because you're meant to be the generation from their lineage to start making some of these changes that they've been craving, okay? I'm also getting this energy of um, running into a roadblock or something not happening in the manner of how you want it to work, right? And when you run into these roadblocks, it's like 
figuring out which way to go from here, which way to go here. And that's when those plans don't go the way that you plan it. So you got to have this open-minded energy on being able to maneuver. It's giving the sense of being flexible. So when you feel like it's you against the world, you got to be flexible to understand and mold against the world. Because the world is always changing. I was thinking about this when I was watching some old stuff. I was watching some old videos of people shopping at Kmart and stuff. Like, I like watching that type of stuff. And I was just thinking about, wow, times really have changed over time. And how people address things and how people do things. Every generation is different. But sometimes we be stuck in one generation trying to continuously do something from this energy. And that's why it feels like we're fighting up against something because we're not adapting to change. And it gives this energy of those who are able to adapt to change are able to fight against the energy that's trying to go against them easier. I feel like this message is going all over the place, but I feel like someone's going to understand where I'm coming from with it. Like, okay, let me wrap, let me put it all together. So it can feel like the world is always against us. Like every step that we take, always keep getting hit with roadblocks, always keep hitting with roadblocks. Like we're not um, seeing a path to get through, right? But those roadblocks are meant to be there to stop us to go to the the thinking chair to think about next steps of how to do something, how to really incorporate something, how to really take next steps. But in that thinking chair, it's like you gotta have a planning committee. And the planning committee are the ancestors that you call into your planning committee. But you wanna make sure the ancestors that you have in this planning committee are not just the ancestors that you know, know, know from this lifetime. You wanna call in the ancestor energy that you never even met, okay? But it's important that when you call them in, you say ancestors that have my best interests and higher good at heart, okay? You want to be specific on who you call into your planning committee, okay? Because all skin folk ain't kin folk. We understand that. So y'all have this planning committee. Y'all look at the what's going on. We'll look at what happened in the world years ago. What happened during the world during their generation, during this generation, during this generation, during your generations. And then the direction that the world is moving into. And then you mold your plan to go along with the direction, but still keep your authenticity at the same time. I think a lot of times we're trying to fight against this system where they're saying politicians, we're fighting against a system that is so embedded that it's always gonna feel like we're hitting walls, brick walls. But we gotta find ways to break apart that while still molding along with it to take some of the pressure off of us. You get what I'm saying? Because that pressure can weigh you down. That pressure can weigh you down. Strength. Strength. And we're talking about the pressure and size. You see a woman dancing with a black cat. It's a big cat, too. Black cats are good omens. When I see a black cat, I send a, like a prayer wish, you know what I'm saying, for that energy to be a feminine energy watching over for me and protecting me from any harm. Black cats, I see them as being like protection energy. Like, they'll go to war for you, you know? It's given Black Panther. This vibe, you all, is that when you feel like it's you against the world, know that you can have a whole planning committee to come together and work through this, figure out what's next. But with this communication, it just gives me this vibe of being able to, because communicating is not just being able to speak. Communicating is, be, you got to be able to hear. You got to be able to listen. There's a difference between listening and hearing too. Because how are you going to have a good conversation, communication with a person who you say something to them and then they respond back to you with something that ain't got nothing to do with what you was just talking about. Okay? That person is, they can talk well, 
but they're a horrible communicator because they don't listen. They don't hear what people say to them. That whole selective hearing, you get what I'm saying? And so we have to, in this world, in this generation, we can't be selectively hearing. We got to hear according to, if we want to take some of the pressure off, but we got to understand the times. I'm hearing understand the lingo. <laughs> gotta be hip, kids. Gotta be hip, okay? <laughs> Seven of wise, but protect your space at the same time. Protect your energy and your essence at the same time. Don't allow yourself to be consumed by the world. So in the world, but not of the world. Don't be consumed by it. Just understand how to navigate it. And after I said that, I just got to... Um, Notification. So that's confirmation. Because it's about family. So your family is ready to have a family meeting. So it's time to call a family meeting. Okay. And if you feel me, leave me whatever you want to leave me down below. You know, leave me whatever you want to leave me. Um, and I'm sending positive good vibes and energy to you all on this journey, on this path. Because, baby, we in this, okay? Thank you to everyone who um, became a member on any of my YouTube channel memberships or my website membership. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. Um, it's appreciated. So, and anyone who has purchased from my tea and my candle company as well, I've been making candles and I love it. Okay, I love making candles is so relaxing to me. Um, and then anyone who has purchased any of my books off of Amazon, so thank you. I appreciate you all for being here. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do, period. And as always, continue to bloom, my loves. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.